So a couple of video videos ago, I shared this jelly plate that I have. It's a 6x6 six six jelly plate. And I don't know if you've ever gone on YouTube to Jelly Arts. That's the name of their YouTube channel. It's Jelly Arts. Um, the, their most recent video, well, as of July 1st, 2014, so I'm assuming it's their, their most current, they show a way to use their jelly plates as a stamp. You gotta check it out. It's awesome. I was like wowed by this by this video of theirs. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna do that too. Okay, so what I did was, first I totally messed up and I was doing it wrong. I had the whole six by six plate and I was doing like the regular jelly plate printing where you put the paint, you know, right on it and then I would put the jelly plate on here and blah, blah, blah. So. It, it wasn't working right. I'm like, what the heck am I doing wrong? So I went and I watched the video again. And as it turns out, and, and I did know this, that they were using, I think, a 3 by 5 jelly plate. But what I ended up doing, and I don't know if this was a good idea or a bad idea, but I had this um, acrylic block with a little handle on it that is a 4 by 6 size. So what I did was I took my 6x6 six six jelly plate and I cut 2 inches off of it. So now I have a 4x6 and a 2x6 two jelly plate. So it's kind of cool. It just sticks right onto the block. I mean, you don't have to do anything. It just sticks. It's there. It's not going anywhere. I'll probably just leave it on here. So then I started playing around just a little bit more. Um, this was still when it was a 6x6 six six size, which you can see the size right there. Uh, then I started playing with it just a little bit differently. Um, I was using um, stencils similar to this, so they're like a huge tag size, maybe, I don't know, 3 or 4 by 8 I guess maybe. And um, so I was playing around some more. So this is some good foundation, right? None of this is going to go to waste. Then I was finally getting it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I get it now. So what you're supposed to do, and I'm going to actually show you, because it's really kind of fun. So you take your jelly plate that's on your acrylic block. You go ahead and you put your acrylic paint on it. You take your brayer and you rub it around. And I have a pretty good coat on here um, because I do have to go through, um, you know, a stencil. So let me get to the page I want to get to. I guess I'll use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this stencil that has flowers. I'm just going to place it right there. I'm going to take my paint on my jelly plate and just push it down and what I've learned is, is if you just smush it just a little bit it kind of helps get it into the stencil so that ah you know what let me do it again so let me just press a little bit harder okay so now for the most part it's on like that and then because this has the design on it now so you can see where the stencil was I can take this, oh you know what, I think why this is happening is because this isn't flat anymore. Let me do something here, because I'm actually, whoops, working on something that wasn't flat. So now that it's flat, let me show you. So again, there's the paint on here, I'm going to take this and push it down and lift it up, well I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of working, but that is the gist of it. You know what? When they do this video, <laughs> you got to go watch it. They make it look so darn easy, um, and it is easy. Um, I don't know why it's not working right here exactly like I want it to, but still, um, you can see it is fun. It creates cute designs. You can either leave the design. You can build on top of it. You can do whatever you want to it, right? So that is just something that I wanted to share with you, and I hope 
that I gave you an idea and let me tell you it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun I'm gonna fix this because I'm not liking this let me see if I can just do this one more time I'm just gonna press a little harder maybe that's what I need to do is just go around like this whoops my little handle came off and then lift up oh and it's like a suction right so you can see it definitely gets on there so just make sure that the paper that you're working on is on a flat surface and when you press down you press down nice and hard so I hope that you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions go check out jelly arts on YouTube great video awesome 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 video okay bye bye everybody